is a special message for the opioid, heroin, meth, fentanyl addicts that are out here that are dying. This is an ad from 1986 that they thought was effective for crack addicts. And, you know, being that we're in this time, I believe this is a very effective message for all of our current Caucasoid drug addicts that are dropping dead at 175 a day. I'm showing this because I'm trying to save your life. So let me go ahead and roll this video. Many of you may be thinking, well, drugs don't concern me, but it does concern you. It concerns us all because of the way it tears at our lives and because it's aimed at destroying the brightness and life of the sons and daughters of the United States. For five years, I've been traveling across the country, learning and listening, and one of the most hopeful signs I've seen is the building of an essential new awareness of how terrible and threatening drug abuse is to our society. This was one of the main purposes when I started, so of course it makes me happy that that's been accomplished. But each time I meet with someone new or receive another letter from a troubled person on drugs, I yearn to find a way to help share the message that cries out from them. As a parent, I'm especially concerned about what drugs are doing to young mothers and their newborn children. Listen to this news account from a hospital in Florida of a child born to a mother with a cocaine habit. Nearby, a baby named Paul lies motionless in an incubator, feeding tubes riddling his tiny body. He needs a respirator to breathe and a daily spinal tap to relieve fluid buildup on his brain. Only one month old, he's already suffered two strokes. Now you can see why drug abuse concerns every one of us, all the American family. Drugs steal away so much. They take and take until finally, every time a drug goes into a child, something else is forced out, like love and hope and trust and confidence. Drugs take away the dream from every child's heart and replace it with a nightmare. And it's time we in America stand up and replace those dreams. Each of us has to put our principles and consciences on the line, whether in social settings or in the workplace, to set forth solid standards and stick to them. There's no moral middle ground. Indifference is not an option. We want you to help us create an outspoken intolerance for drug use. For the sake of our children, I implore each of you to be unyielding and inflexible in your opposition to drugs. Our young people are helping us lead the way. Not long ago in Oakland, California, I was asked by a group of children what to do if they were offered drugs. And I answered, just say no. Soon after that, those children in Oakland formed a just say no club. And now there are over 10,000 such clubs all over the country. Well, their participation and their courage in saying no needs our encouragement. We can help by using every opportunity to force the issue of not using drugs to the point of making others uncomfortable, even if it makes, meaning making ourselves unpopular. Our job is never easy because drug criminals are ingenious. They work every day to plot a new and better way to steal our children's lives, just as they've done by developing this new drug crack. For every door that we close, they open a new door to death. They prosper on our unwillingness to act. So we must be smarter and stronger and tougher than they are. It's up to us to change attitudes and just simply dry up their markets. And finally, to young people watching or listening, I have a very personal message for you. There's a big, wonderful world out there for you. It belongs to you. It's exciting and stimulating and rewarding. Don't cheat yourselves out of this promise. Our country needs you, 
but it needs you to be clear-eyed and clear-minded. I recently read one teenager's story. She's now determined to stay clean, but was once strung out on several drugs. What she remembered most clearly about her recovery was that during the time she was on drugs, everything appeared to her in shades of black and gray. And after her treatment, she was able to see colors again. So to my young friends out there, life can be great, but not when you can't see it. So open your eyes to life, to see it in the vivid colors that God gave us as a precious gift to his children, to enjoy life to the fullest and to make it count. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. Now see that, y'all? That's all you got to do. See, this wench here, her husband also took part in the war on black people, which was crack cocaine in the black community. And then these demons turn around and come out with an anti-drug campaign to make it look like they're concerned and doing something. Only a devil would do that. So what I'm saying to you is, if just say no was good enough for the crack cocaine addicts, in this country, just say no is the appropriate message for you opioid, heroin, fentanyl, carfentanyl um, people that are out here. So that's my message to you. I agree with Trump. There should be no new money. Just say no. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. And remember, just say no.